right, today I want to talk to you about an old subject, but it's something to know, and this channel is all about getting information out to the owners of, of their Ford vehicles. Now what this applies to is the 2011 F250s, F350s with the 6.7 liter engine in it. Great, great engine. There's just a few small faults with it early on, and that's what I want to talk to you about today because this one's so small that it'll actually tear up the whole engine and become a huge, huge bill for you. Many of you are probably out of warranty right now, and if these haven't been changed out, I would do them right away, I mean instantly. Now what this pertains to is the glow plugs that actually stick into the cylinder on there to preheat the cylinder like usual. What happens is the tips of them, they were manufactured wrong, and they actually crack off, and then that chunk of metal is inside of there floating around your engine, it gets jammed into your exhaust valve, cracks the exhaust valve, you have low compression, and of course your, your engine will not start, it'll barely start. At that point, it's long block time. And these engines, these 6.7 liter engines, are absolutely horrendous when it comes to price. They're upwards of $15,000, uh, and you'd be even higher than that by the time you get the thing out of there, because the warranty uh, labor rate on here is 20 some hours, whereas I imagine customer pay labor rate to change this engine out will be around 30 some hours. So it's me an absolutely huge bill, or you can take the time and, and, and just change out all the glow plugs to the absolute latest number. And I'll put the latest number down below in the description so you can buy them. They're very easy to change out on here. Just change them out, torque them down. I'll put the torque specs down below, everything. Just, I'm telling you, just, just do it. Especially if you use this vehicle for you know family road trips, uh, you use it for your business, you can't have a down engine. That, that's just costing you money, no matter if it's covered by Ford or not. It's gonna be down for a while, it's not a one day job. Now I speak from experience, I've had to replace one or two of these engines before, and they're an absolute nightmare. There's part of availability issues, there's the lifting of the cab. I mean, it's just gonna be down for a long, long time. I'll post some pictures up here and there throughout the video here to let you see that it's a major ordeal. Um, transferring the components, the high pressure fuel rail components, and all the harnesses and the covers and everything else from the old engine to the new engine actually took me a full freaking day to change over. That's how complicated everything is on here. Certain things to be done at certain times uh, in, in a certain order and then of course every one of those freaking fuel rail items needs to be torqued down in a specific order also. They have multiple different torque steps on them also. So I'm just letting you guys know, I'll put the latest uh, glow plugs down below. Like I said, they're not hard to change. I just change them out and be done and, and be happy with it. Um, it. It won't cost you that much and it'll save you a lot more in the downtime uh, later on. Now this affects vehicles that were built before 329, 2011. So as far as I recollect, they started making these vehicles in January, February of 2010. Uh, for the 2011 model year, so there's a lot of them out there, and I'm just getting the information out because this channel is all about that. 